Hello and welcome to Indusan News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Darpan. The news in detail. As many as 44 persons succumbed to COVID-19 on Thursday. With this, the cumulative death toll in the district has now reached to 2,261. On the other hand, 1,506 persons have gone home after recovery and obtaining permission from medical authorities. But this is the total number of recovered patients in the district is now 53,418, including over 33,000 patients who have recovered during home isolation and treatment. The recovery rate of the district is now 74.59%. The total corona positive cases tally of Nagpur district is now at 71,606, with 1,126 positive cases coming to light in the last 24 hours. While giving a breakup of the deaths, medical officials revealed that out of the total casualties, 375 and 1,672 victims are from the rural and urban areas of the district, respectively. While as many as 214 persons are from outside Nagpur district. Maharashtra Health Minister Rajesh Tope on Thursday expressed concern over four districts in Vidarbha witnessing a big spike in COVID-19 cases and casualties. Is reviewing the pandemic situation in Nagpur, Chandrapur, Amravati and Bandara districts. Speaking to the media on arrival at the Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar International Airport in the city, Minister Tope stressed on controlling the rising number of positive cases and subsequent death in all these districts by increasing RT-PCR testing. He pointed out that in many cases, rapid antigen cases were showing negative results, but patients were later turning out to be positive. There is a need to reduce what workload on hospitals by stressing on home quarantine of asymptomatic patients. Where testing is less, there is a risk of spread of infection. Home Minister Anil Deshmukh, Medical Education Minister Anil Deshmukh and Senior NCP Leader Prapul Patel too are part of the delegation. Turning tree farm bill passed by the Modi government as a black law, Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel on Thursday accused the NDA of hatching a conspiracy to hand over the agriculture sector to private players. With these laws, the private players would hold food grains at will in their go-down and sell them at exorbitant prices as there will be no government's restriction from now. We all have witnessed how prices of onions and pulses were inflated in the past. The ultimate sufferer will be the common man along with the farmers and farm traders, he said, flanked by Maharashtra Cabinet Minister Yashomati Thakur, Emery Vikas Thakre and others. Vagar said the government restrictions on the agricultural sector were imposed by farmer Prime Minister Jawala Nehru, but this government wants to hand over control to private players who will have monopoly on entire affair. ASI Naresh Umrao Badole, a Central Reserve Police Force personnel from the city of Ten Martyrdom during a terrorist attack in Bargam district of Jammu and Kashmir on Thursday. His mortal remains were flown from Srinagar to Delhi and then from Delhi to Nagpur. Badole was a resident of Padurang Nagar, Hingna and had rendered well over 30 years of distinguished services in the CRPF, serving in various assignments all over the country. He was deployed as part of the 117 battalion of the CRPF at Wazira Bag, Srinagar. As the news of his martyrdom spread, neighbors and well-wishers gathered outside his home and consoled the grave family who are in a state of shock. He leaves behind his wife Pramila, daughter Murunar and Prajna and many other relatives to mourn the loss. The funeral is being performed with full state honors today. The Nandaman police arrested two thieves hailing from Haryana involved in stealing lakhs of rupees from ATM machines of different banks. Police have recovered 22 debit cards and credit cards, stolen cash, a master key and a two-wheeler collectively worth rupees 5.65 lakhs from their possession. With their arrest, cops detected four thefts which they had committed at ATMs of a different bank in Gutikada, Wadi Pratapnagar and railway station from Myers. Identified as Asif Khan, Juma Khan and Shahadat Khan Mohammed Khan, the duo are resident of New District Haryana. Between September 1st and September 17th, they stole rupees 1,23,500 from several ATMs. On the basis of complaint lodged by witnesses and predicted movement from CCTV footage, the police laid a trap and ultimately managed to arrest both of them, PSI Sandipan Pawar and his team. On the basis of complaint lodged by witness and predicted movement from CCTV footage, the police laid a trap and ultimately managed to arrest both of them. P.I. Sandipan Pawar and his team were instrumental in arresting the accused. 
Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates, you know, around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself.